I'm Nikki Terrio here at Gallery 78 on Friday, April 12th, and I'm here with Alexandra Eaton on her <laughs> exhibition called New Day. So uh, the last exhibition that you had with us was called Busy Woman, mm -hmm. and it did convey the theme of women, but it was a lot more about um, you know the responsibilities and all the things that women have to do, which is why it was called Busy Woman. Uh, and then in between that, she had um, a painting at the Beaver Art Gallery, part of the Hot Pop Soup exhibition, which is very cool. And now we're here with New Day, and as you can see, the women are a lot more happy and joyful. Can you tell us about them? Um, sure. The, the last show, the Busy Woman show, was two years ago. Mm -hmm. And when, at that point, when I was looking forward to the show, I anticipated it to be sort of the second installment of the <laughs> Busy Woman series, and I've continued working on it, um, but then also gone back to uh, other subjects as well. Um, I think really just because so many things happened in the last mm -hmm. two years, yeah. um, uh, we moved for one thing, and so all the well, physically that's a big yeah. job, but also emotionally, you know, I was worried about settling my kids again mm -hmm. and be happy and like their school. And then I, well, I had to uh, adjust to a new studio, which is now in my mm -hmm. home as opposed to uh, being outside the home. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, in the middle, uh, well, actually, as we were moving, um, I got the invitation to create that large painting for the Beaver Book, mm -hmm. which is a um, mural size <laughs> scale. Yeah. Uh, it's six feet high by 24 feet long. And I, so I worked on that for almost a year, so you know, 10 months. Yeah. And that sort of, all the ideas I was playing with, Busy Woman, all ended up in that <laughs> big, <laughs> um, big painting. And uh, you know, even in the progression of the painting, um, at the end, the women are seven feet tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that, there was that, and then, uh, uh, so I guess when I started, The Busy Woman, yeah, it was just about feeling rushed all the time, mm -hmm. and seeing all women my age who are working and have young families, and just sort of trying to balance everything. Everyone sort of talks about mm -hmm. how to find a balance, and how to be happy and relax, <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, so it had a lot of those themes, whereas, um, I think the work now, um, my work always, I, always, I think, it has a joyful mm -hmm. yeah. outlook on it, um, and that's the greatest compliment, really, over the years I, I've heard from people is, oh, your painting makes me so happy, mm -hmm. and as I move forward in <laughs> life, <laughs> um, that means more and more to me, and I actually have a lot more of my own paintings hanging in my own house now, and I, cool. I, don't know, I understand it more yeah. right now. Uh, so these paintings are more about, you know, they're dancing and they're happy, and, but it's still it's the same idea, they're rushing around, they're shopping and <laughs> stuff like that, and that big painting sort of dealt with the idea of, well, it, was, it started with the idea of a grocery store, but it created the idea of this warehouse where a superwoman would go and get her supplies. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <clears throat> um, and this painting over here actually is called, interestingly, Disappearing Woman. And we still see here a bit of the remnants of the busy woman. Mm -hmm. um, what about this painting? Well, I like the title Disappearing Woman because, well, she is disappearing yeah. visually. She's harder to see. And it, um, rather than stenciling a shape, which is how I started, at the end I was sort of putting the outline of the woman and then putting it on that way. So mm -hmm. the edges are really are completely mm -hmm. blurred. Um, I like the title. I think it is possible when you are so busy all the time that, you know, to lose a little bit of what you thought you were or how mm -hmm. to maintain all that and keep, keep yourself and everything. So, but it's still, I wanted to have a, um, a positive, positive outlook and I think with the color, and then mm -hmm. when you see them in relation to all the other ones, I think yeah. it still is a positive element. Mm -hmm. so. Sure it is. <laughs> so let's take a look at the other paintings.
And now we'll take a look over into the photo room. Thank you very much. 